In the world of Japanese swords, there are numerous famous blades which have been cherished by emperors and generals throughout history. Often, these swords are associated with intriguing anecdotes about the generals who own them. In this video, we will introduce seven selected famous swords that were favorites of renowned generals. Number 1. Heshikiri Hasabe The Heshikiri Hasabe is a sword known to be a favorite of the Sengoku era warlord Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga is recognized as one of the most famous shoguns in Japanese history, counted alongside Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Tokugawa Ieyasu as one of the three great unifiers of the Warring States period. Allegedly an atheist, Nobunaga is known for his ruthless act of burning the famous temple, Hiezan Enrakuji, resulting in the deaths of thousands. The name of his sword, Heshikiri Hasabe, originates from a legend. Once, a monk who was a retainer of Nobunaga committed an act of disrespect, infuriating him. In his rage, Nobunaga killed the monk who had hidden under a shelf by slicing through the shelf itself. In those times, the act of cutting something by pressing was referred to as Heshikiri. The sword used in this incident came to be known as Heshikiri Hasebe. This anecdote not only reflects Oda Nobunaga's merciless nature, but also signifies the sharpness of the Heshikiri Hasebe. Number 2. Okurikara the Okurikara is a sword known to have been favored by the Sengoku-era warlord Date Masamune. Renowned as the One-Eyed Dragon for his eye-patched appearance, Masamune was a distinguished shogun who conquered the Oshu region at the young age of 23. The name Okurikara is derived from the Kurikara sword, which is traditionally attributed to the Buddhist deity Fudo Myo. Furumyo is depicted as a wrathful deity in Buddhism, punishing the wicked and guiding them to the righteous path. Unlike other Buddhist figures, he is often shown with a fearsome expression. Date Masamune revered Furumyo throughout his life, considering him a model for what a shogun should be. By wielding the O Kurikara, Masamune symbolically embodied the spirit of Furumyo and he became a hero in the Oshu region. Number 3. Yamatorige The Yamatorige is known as the beloved sword of the Sengoku era warlord Uesugi Kenshin. Kenshin, referred to as the god of war and dragon of Ichigo, is celebrated for his exceptional military talent. Unlike other famous shoguns, he had no ambition for territorial expansion. His domain remained almost exclusively in Ichigo throughout his life. He only took up arms when called upon by other states, achieving victory in most engagements. Even Oda Nobunaga, who was close to uniting the entire country, was extremely cautious not to antagonize Kenshin. The name Yamatorige comes from its elegant and ornate blade pattern, reminiscent of the feathers of a mountain bird. This blade pattern, an important aspect in the appreciation of Japanese swords, is formed during the yakiire process, where the heated sword is quickly cooled in water. Furthermore, this sword is known as one of the most expensive in history, valued at an astonishing 500 million yen. In 2020, Satoshi City in Okayama Prefecture purchased it from a private owner. For more on this topic, please watch the video Top 3 Most Expensive Katana. Number 4. Honebami Toshiro The Honebami Toshiro is known as the favorite sword of the Sengoku era warlord Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Rising from a humble farmer to serving Oda Nobunaga and ultimately unifying Japan, Hideyoshi's remarkable life story is well known. 
He was also a collector of famous swords, attracting many renowned blades to his possession as the most powerful figure in Japan. For him, swords were symbols of authority, and he gathered them from across the country. By bestowing these collected swords as rewards to his retainers, swords became recognized as symbols of status among samurai and shoguns. The Honobami Toshiro was one of his particularly favored swords. This important cultural sword is known for an anecdote that its fearsome sharpness could even shatter bones when playfully swung. The name Honebami literally means bone eater, a testament to its incredible cutting ability. Today, this sword is enshrined in the Toyokuni Shrine dedicated to Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Number 5. Iwatoshi Iwatoshi is not a sword, but a naginata, and is said to have been favored by the Heian era warrior monk Musashibo Benke. Considered one of the strongest monks in Japanese history, Benke is famed for his lifelong service to Minamoto no Yoshitsune, the brother of Japanese first shogun. The most well known legend about Benke tells of his heroic defense of Yoshitsune during the Battle of Koromogawa. Attacked by surprise by hundreds of soldiers on the orders of his brother, the shogun Minamoto no Yoritomo, Yoshitsune faced overwhelming odds. Benke stood at the entrance of a hall, single handedly holding back the enemy. Despite his valiant efforts in defeating many foes, he ultimately succumbed to numerous arrows, dying while still standing. This tale continues to be passed down through generations. Benke is famously depicted carrying a multitude of weapons, totaling seven different types. Among them, the Naginata Iwatoshi was his favorite. Its name, meaning cutting through rocks, comes from its reputation for having a blade so sharp it could slice through stone. Number 6. Mume Kaneshige the Mumei Kaneshige was the favorite sword of the legendary swordsman Miyamoto Musashi, known as the strongest samurai and a master of the two-sword fighting style. Musashi, a swordsman who boasted an undefeated record throughout his life, has been frequently depicted in kabuki and other creative works even after his death, continuing to enjoy heroic popularity today. Among his numerous duels, the most famous is the duel on Ganryu Island. On Ganryu Island, located in present-day Yamaguchi Prefecture, he dueled with another great swordsman, Sasaki Kojiro. While Sasaki Kojiro used a katana, Miyamoto Musashi fought with a wooden sword and is said to have defeated Kojiro with a single blow. This sword is believed to have been made during the Nambokucho period, and its most notable characteristic is its shallow curvature. Generally, the deeper the curvature, the closer the center of gravity is to the hand, making the sword feel lighter. The fact that Musashi favored this sword with its shallow curvature suggests that he was a swordsman with superior strength. Number 7. Ochidori Jumonjiyari the Ochidori Jumonjiyari is known as the spear favored by the Sengoku era warlord Sanada Yukimura. He is renowned for leading the ninja group Sanada Ten Braves and pledging his lifelong loyalty to Toyotomi Hideyoshi. He is also famed for being one of the warriors who cornered Tokugawa Ieyasu, who achieved the unification of Japan. Unlike the typical black armor worn by samurais, Yukimura and his troops, known as Akazonae, wore striking red armor and were known as exceptionally skilled soldiers. This spear is said to have been used by him in the siege of Osaka in summer, where he fiercely confronted Tokugawa Ieyasu. The name Ochidori, Big Plover, derives from the cross-shaped blades at the tip of the spear, resembling a plover spreading its wings in flight. Additionally, the spear's handle 
is said to have been a vivid vermilion color, a hue granted only to those who achieved great military feats. Japanese traditional knives are recognized as first class by professional chefs worldwide for their sharpness, akin to that of Japanese swords. This is partly due to the history of swordsmiths. For over a thousand years, swordsmiths have been creating numerous swords for battles, playing a vital role. However, with the arrival of peaceful times in the 18th century, the demand for swords declined. Many master craftsmen then shifted from sword making to knife making, passing on their swordsmithing techniques to knife crafting. This is why Japanese knives possess such exceptional sharpness. I want everyone to experience the excellent sharpness and the beauty of the blades of Japanese knives. At Hocho Knife, you can purchase knives online made by Japanese knife artisans. They offer a wide variety of knives, so please find and purchase your unique knife. For the product page, please check the description of this video. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into the world of Japanese swords. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content about the history of Japanese swords. Until next time, sayonara.